Hey y'all. Hey, so it's a little bit late. It's a little bit late, just a little bit. But I was not about to go to bed without doing this. So I have my little uterus with me that I'm in love with, okay. And tonight I'm gonna be talking about, Sis Victoria, what you doing up this late? You just said you was going to sleep early. Um, Asalaamu Alaikum. But tonight I'm going to be talking about love languages, <laughs> love languages during labor. So we did a live previously that is on my YouTube channel. Is it already up there? If it's not, I'm going to upload that one tomorrow. But I did a live about using love languages to help you support someone during their postpartum time, which is a very delicate time. We talk about postpartum a lot on this page. So you should know that postpartum is a delicate time, right? Um, but tonight we're going to talk about love languages during labor. So it's going to be pretty similar, kind of similar. Um, the only thing that's going to change is probably one language. Okay, so there's five love languages and I'll start off with the same little prefix, right? <gasps> Thank you, Sister Victoria, because I almost went to bed and said... <laughs> some things okay so we started off talking about um what is the love languages right so the love languages is a quiz that you can take online and it it's usually used for relationship purposes but i like to use them with my moms to know exactly how they receive love so everybody receives love differently and a lot of people think that, oh, I did everything for you and I'm doing this for you and I'm doing this for you. And it means absolutely nothing to that person because that's not how they receive love. So I always use it as a little cheat code with my moms to see exactly, you know, how I can help them, but also how I can get them to help themselves. Like, so if they feel like they're in a bind, I will go back and look at that and be like, and I can suggest some things that's based off of your love language so there's a couple of different love languages but you always want to retake the test if things have changed for you in your life any type of big shift that's happened especially a shift like getting pregnant and especially a shift like having a baby especially a shift like getting into a new relationship things like that uh will change and alter your love language so for the first one is to look go ah i was mentioning this to somebody in my class today too because she was saying this was a really good point that she made too she was saying that um she didn't like the she felt like it was patronizing or patronizing patronizing for the nurse to constantly say you're doing great keep it up you're doing great she said it was even worse for her because um she wasn't even looking at her like she was just looking at the monitor reading the monitor and saying sure a i'm done with Hello. you girl goodbye um she wasn't even looking at the mom she was looking at the monitor just saying you're doing great and she said for her it was it was not it was not for her so I told her, I mentioned to her about the love languages quiz. That's not everybody thing, the words of affirmation. For her, it was most definitely not her thing. Yeah, I just kicked that out. They loud and I'm ready to go to bed. What you doing? Oh, I don't know. I can't help you with that. Okay, so. This will help you in labor because... It's a cheat code. You get to literally tell your partner exactly what you need. And this is another thing that I mentioned in the last live with our males. They want to help. And in order for them to help, I know, right? In order for them to help, we have to just keep it plain and simple. Keep it plain and simple. This is exactly what I'm going to need while I'm in labor. If you can help with these things, that'd be great. So. The first one is words of affirmation. It's kind of ironic because we just mentioned that. But for words of affirmation, obviously, say meaningful things, though. This is what I want to say. Don't do like the nurse 
and be looking over here but telling the mom you're doing great like don't be a robot with it like actually like after a contraction wow like that looks really hard you're doing so so much work can i get you anything wow you are really doing a, a, a great job i'm just so amazed that you're even able to do this say things that are really meaningful in that moment and that actually resonate with that mom in that moment don't just be a robot and have some affirmations the mom might actually have her affirmations that she recorded especially if she she had me as a doula she recorded some affirmations so playing those affirmations for her will help her during labor as well um okay so for the other one acts of service acts of service is really easy during labor as well because that is making sure that mom is hydrated that's what we love to see <laughs> making sure that mom is hydrated getting her those ice chips that she wants um getting her water making sure she has a straw so she ain't struggling to uh drink things her red raspberry leaf tea um getting her things like that making sure you're fanning her uh when she's warm making sure you're using um just different things like the fan there's massage balls there's massage oils we're gonna get into the massage stuff too because that's more so of a physical touch thing but acts of service can be getting them things making sure you're on a uh, door watch definitely if you're in the hospitals that you're on door watch for them so anytime a nurse walks in a room you're greeting that nurse hey how are you doing like basically like a nice way to be like what what you want basically so that is part of acts of service then the third love language is receiving gifts so what kind of gifts can you give somebody while they're in labor this was a great question that was asked to me in one of my classes so i had to think about that receiving gifts meaningful things back to meaningful things and that this is custom to that mom so a, a gift that i would recommend is making a meaningful playlist to her like maybe it's some of her favorite r&b songs um uh, maybe it's a song that means something to both of you guys and your relationship making her a meaningful playlist as far as like adding that words of affirmation with some songs that you know she like like maybe some usher songs you know stuff like that you can also do surprise things like um you know she packed a bag for the hospital this is a not solely geared towards hospital births but okay let's just say she packed a bag for the hospital dad should have his bag of surprises for mom especially if her love language is receiving gifts don't let her know what's in the bag beforehand pack her favorite robe pack her house shoes pack some snacks pack her favorite snacks and then surprise her during labor like look what i brought for you uh her chapstick Anything that you feel like she probably might have forgot that will make her feel comfortable in that moment. Whatever it is, like her favorite blanket, um, you know, it just depends on that mom. But pack her a bag full of just surprises that she won't know about until you're actually in the moment. So that's for receiving gifts. That's what I would like to, sis me. Like I would, yeah, I would like that. Okay, so then we have quality time. Quality time should be an easy one because... You're literally there holding her hand, making sure you're present. You're not on the phone watching the game. You're not on the phone scrolling. You're actually present and in the moment with her. When she's going through these things, don't let her feel like she's going through it by herself. That's a really simple one. Like really, it's just being there, holding her hand and actually being present with your attention on her. So with quality time, it's more so a, an attention thing. It's not just being there. It's my attention is on you. Okay. Then we have physical touch. It's the last one. This is obviously going to be a quick live. So physical touch, all the massages. Make a massage oil for that mom. This is custom to the moms, right? So what is her favorite essential oil? Drop a couple of those uh, drops of essential oil into some olive oil or some avocado oil and use that as your massage oil for while she's in labor her hands her feet feet her hands her feet her belly you can massage all of these things her lower back um you could do counter pressure for her the hip squeezes that's all a part of the physical touch part of the love languages so there's a lot that you can do there with that uh shoulder massages even like her neck 
wherever you know you really want to with this mom because you're going to be the closest person to her that's what you're going to do for physical touch and then obviously another bonus if you are like actually her partner like her husband um for physical touch you know kissing is completely fine like slow dancing intimate things because that also helps to boost the oxytocin in that mom and help her labor progress like that's actually going to really help her especially when it's coming from the partner so that is all i have for y'all tonight a scalp massage Ooh, that's really good not with those essential oils, but with just like a plain oil. Yes, that's really good because I love head massages. So, yeah, that's all I have for y'all tonight. I'm going to save this. All of these videos will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, which the link for the YouTube is in the bio. So make sure y'all check some of that out if you're watching the replay. All right, peace.